Hey everyone, today I've got an exciting product review for you. If you are a front-end developer, I'm sure you're no stranger to bug reports. And let's face it, they can be frustratingly vague at times, leading to endless back and forth on calls, Slack, etc. Well, I've got a tool that might just be the solution you and your team have been looking for. It's called Jam, and it's a browser extension that completely changes how you handle every single bug. Jam is free for individual use, only takes one click to create the best bug report, and has a helpful AI feature built in. Let me take you through the installation and the features Jam has to offer. To install Jam, head over to jam.dev and click on the Get Started for Free button. This will open a new tab with the Chrome Web Store. Click on Add to Chrome, Add Extension, Sign up with your account, and you're all set. Pin the extension to your toolbar for easy access. Now, let's dive into the features, starting with my favorite one, Instant Replay. How many times have you come across a bug and you've had to recreate it, only to find out you're unable to do so? Well, with Jam's Instant Replay, you just click one button and boom, it captures up to two minutes of what just happened on your screen. Let's take a look at a real scenario. I have here a flight booking app, and the testing team is reporting they can't book certain flights with promo codes. The interesting part is that it only happens sometimes. Apply the promo code, save 10, and we can see flight one and two are promo eligible. Try booking flight one, and you can see booking is successful. Try booking flight two with the same promo code and it fails. Simply click Jam's Instant Replay button and you'll see a recording of the exact user interactions. You can adjust the timeline to record only the interesting bits. The timeline also indicates where there was an error. But here is where it gets really cool. When you create and copy link, Jam does not just record your screen. It captures a ton of technical information that we developers actually need. Info about the operating system, browser, window size, country, console logs, network requests, and all the actions performed by the user all packaged into one easy link. We can clearly see the promo code entry, the time the error was logged, and the exact user interactions. It's like giving developers a time machine to see exactly what went wrong. Whether you're a team of devs, a QA team, or a product manager, you never have to explain another bug. Seriously, Jam auto-captures all the information required to debug the issue. Of course, you can also record a video of the bug yourself. This is perfect for those bugs that need a bit more context and explanation. In our app, if you try booking all the remaining seats for a flight, it will fail. But an instant replay may not be enough to understand the issue. So you can record a video of the bug and also provide real-time commentary as you're showcasing the bug. Click on the Jam extension and you can record your entire screen or just a single tab. I'll select Tab. The recording starts in three seconds. Hey. Booking a flight fails when the number of seats selected is equal to the number of seats available. So if I select three passengers for a flight with three seats available and try to book a flight, you can see we have an error message. Stop recording and create and copy link. Once again, with a single click, Jam Auto captures all the information required to debug the issue. But wait, there is more. Jam also has a screenshot tool, which is more lightweight compared to the previous two options. Let's report a bug that the maximum number of seats that can be booked at once should be 10, but currently it is A. Click on the extension icon and select Capture Screenshot. You can click once on the page to take a full screenshot of the viewport or drag an area of the screen to take a cropped screenshot of that area. But this is not your average screenshot. Along with the image, you get all those technical details I mentioned earlier. You can also annotate your screenshots, adding arrows, 
text or even drawing directly on the image. One click and we have the screenshot with all the technical information. In this case, device info is very useful. Apart from the cropped screenshot, Jam also auto captures the entire screen to give more context to the developers. Now you know exactly where the UI element is placed and what to debug. You also have the option to capture a screenshot after a delay of three seconds or six seconds. You'll also be happy to know that Jam works with incognito mode. It is quite common to use incognito to dock food, test, and capture bugs. All of the Jam features, like instant replay, and screen recording packaged up with the network console device data are available in private browsing mode. All you have to do is enable incognito access from your browser's extension settings. This can be done by navigating to Chrome slash extensions and clicking on the Jam extension details. Here, allow in incognito. Now, when you open an incognito window, You'll see the Jam icon is there and you can continue to capture and report bugs. Responsive design is also a crucial aspect of front-end development and Jam makes it easy to test and debug your designs across different devices and screen sizes. In Chrome DevTools, in the Inspect panel, you can click on the Toggle Device Toolbar button to see how your site looks on different devices. Then you can use Jam as usual to log any responsive bugs you see. In our example, a menu dropdown appears on mobile viewports. You click and select an option, either sort by price or sort by time. However, when you click on the right hand side of the option, it does not work. To report this bug, you can once again use Jam's screenshot tool. Capture screenshot and click. But this time, Jam is smart enough to know that you're in a mobile viewport. And this is super helpful for debugging the issue. All right, here's where things get really interesting. Jam has its own AI assistant called Jam GPT. It can help you identify root causes, suggest fixes, and even rewrite broken code for you. Sort of like pair programming with an AI. Let's look at an example. I'm going to report the same bug from earlier that maximum number of seats that can be booked should be 10, but currently the user can only book eight. I'll take a screenshot of the bug and add a comment. Maximum number of passengers allowed should be 10 and not eight. Create the bug report. Now you can click on the Jam GPT tab. Hello there, I am JamGPT, your debugging AI assistant. Would you like me to analyze this Jam for fixes and other recommendations? I'm going to say yes. JamGPT will then analyze the bug report and come back to us. In this case, it says, the bug seems to be related to the maximum number of passengers allowed in your application. Check the logic where the number of passengers is defined. Ensure that the value is set to 10 instead of eight and look for any hard-coded values or constants that might be affecting this limit. What I'm going to do is copy the code, paste it, and ask, can you fix the code for me? It'll take a few seconds to analyze, and here is the fixed version. We see math.min 8, passengers plus 1 changed to math.min 10, passengers plus 1. You can copy the code and update it. We can now book up to 10 passengers at once. A simple fix, but JamGPT is capable of doing so much more. I encourage you to try it out for yourself. It is completely free and works with HTML, CSS, React, Vue, Angular, and any other framework or library you're using. Now Jam works with all the tools your team already uses. On the free tier, you can connect to Slack, but with a paid plan, you can connect to Jira, Linear, Notion, GitHub, and more. Now you might be thinking, this sounds great, but is it really that much better than what I am already using? Well, let me put it this way. Jam makes it virtually impossible to send a bad bug report. It's like having a QA team and a senior developer rolled into one browser extension. 
With Jam, you're sending a complete snapshot of what went wrong, when it went wrong, and all the technical context needed to fix it. No more back and forth on Slack or those endless debugging calls. All right, that's it for today's video. If you want to check out Jam for yourself, head over to jam.dev and I'll leave a link in the description below. If you found this video helpful and if you're interested in more product reviews, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell icon to stay up to date with all things tech. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.